Okay, so what we're going to do today, um, we're going to take that picture and create that picture. Okay, if you look in the uh, description of the video, you have all the links for the stock. Okay, so the first thing to do is to actually cut out, okay, here and the model. Okay, and you a bit of the rock here. Okay, so your cutout should look like something like this. Okay, this is the full size picture. Okay, the size is very large. So if we look, you can see that it's very, very large. So what we're going to do here is change and we're going to put a width of 1600 pixels. Okay which still give you a nice printing size anyway okay right now what we need to do is to add a sky so create a new layer and put it underneath the model and I'm going to open the first sky which is this one Okay, then just select the area you want, which is this, copy and paste it. Right, I'm not going to change the position of the sky as it is, because I want to have that area here, it needs to stay here no move from there okay so what we're going to do here first we're going to desaturate the sky okay so to do so just add a U in saturation uh, adjustment layer okay and we're going to link it and then we're going to lower that to minus 90 okay then we need to darken the sky so to do so we're gonna have some curves, okay? So same, you need to link it. What we're looking for here is about a value of 80, 110, okay? So 80, 110, okay? Now, what we're gonna do we're going to add a second sky because that sky is pretty flat so what we want to do is add to volume the sky so in order to do so create a new layer and then open the second sky that one okay select the path that you want to so Will be this copy and paste okay now we need to move the sky up like this okay now change the blending to soft light then create a layer mask and using a big fat brush like that one just work down below here and now we got something that has more volume here and we still keep the white area here okay now <clears throat> I want this part here to be rather dark so we're gonna add a new layer and we're gonna change the opacity of that layer to about 30 percent okay and then we're simply gonna paint this area here of the sky okay once we've done that we're going to work now on the model because you can see that the model is absolutely not blended with the sky. 
So select the model. Now we're going to use the same technique with the U saturation and curves that we use for the sky, but we're going to inverse them. The reason for that is that when you use the curve, you're going to intensify the colors, and then when we're going to do the desaturation, the model will be desaturated, yet the colors will still be vibrant, and that's what we want to do. So first, we have the curves. Okay, apply them to the model only. What you want here is about 70, 98, okay? Like that, that can do. Okay? Now we're going to desaturate the model. And uh, about minus 30. Okay? Now, you can see that the model is okay, but we do have a problem with the rock. The rock is still way too bright. So, what we're going to do here. is add a layer here and we're going to change the blending to soft light and we're going to paint the rock okay be careful not to touch the model too much okay now as you can see, there is still a bit here that needs to be painted. So we're going to add another layer. And this time we're going to set that layer to about 60% opacity. Okay? And we're simply going to paint here. Now, you can see that the rock blends a bit more. But, we still have a problem here. So in order to change that, what we're going to do now is have a new layer and we're going to use the gradient tool. Okay? So if you change the opacity here to about 85, okay, then make the end of the gradient invisible. And Simply fill the picture with it. And then you can see that now we have a dark area all over here, which is what we want. So, so far it's looking okay. Now we're going to change the overall color of the picture. So, if we add a color balance layer without clipping it and you change the value here to minus 20 and the value here to 52 and you can see that now the picture is rather blue okay now go back to the layers and what we're going to do is that we're going to add the eagle. Okay, so eagle will be behind the model. So we're going to go here and create a new layer. Open the eagle. Okay, and the one we want is this one. Okay, so okay. copy and then we can paste it. Okay, we're going to move it now. 
as we can see that eagle is way too big so we need to resize it right so the size is a bit okay you yeah, can leave it like that apply this as we did for the model we're going to do the same for the eagle okay we're going to first add some curves okay and the value i'm looking here are about 50 105 so Can leave it like that and then we're going to desaturate it for a value of about minus 50 45 okay now we can see that the overall picture is quite okay now what we're going to do for the eagle is that we're going to add A motion blur okay so like this is quite fine uh, maybe even here five okay Okay, now that we have done that, we're gonna kind of finalize the picture. Okay, so I want to create some kind of density to the picture. In order to do that, we create a new layer. Okay, select the whole picture and go for copy merged. Now, just paste it. Okay, now we're gonna add Gaussian Blur. Of that value around 40, it's fine. Okay, now we're gonna change the opacity of that layer to 60%. Okay, and change the blending to soft light. Now you see that the picture is a lot darker. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to add the moon. Any kind of moon brush will work, okay? Uh, go to DA and you can download anything in there. So, set up on white and fetch your moon. I'm going to have to resize it. Okay, about 400 for that one. And there it is. Okay, now I'm going to make the last change to the color by adding a new color balance. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to change the yellow. And I'm going to put here minus 83. And there you have it. Okay, now what we need to do is simply finish the picture using a gradient this time I want both sides to be visible but the middle will be invisible okay and simply add it here and there you have it the picture is done